Juggling, tumbling, acrobatics and contortion are not skills most school children learn. But for some of the 1,000 underprivileged kids at the Far Ponlo Selpak School, or PPS, these are as much a part of the curriculum as mathematics and languages. The skills have taken PPS alumni to the US, Europe and a host of countries in Asia. Among them is 23-year-old contortionist Pin Punam. At seven years old and with a violent alcoholic father, Punam picked up trash for recycling to earn money for food. At 13, she joined the school's circus program. And the school helped me to change my life. That from the poor kid, from the little girl who was working in the town, who was a trust picker to become an artist. And then with this skill, I traveled to the world. The troupe to which Punam belongs is called Far Cambodian Circus. It was one of several appearing at an international circus festival in Phnom Penh this month. Chief Executive Huat Dara says FAR's performances help sustain a school with a unique mission. To give these unique opportunities to young Cambodians, mainly from the street and from the very difficult social and economic uh, uh, background, to take art and culture uh, as a, a means to express themselves and to have a career, to earn a living, to improve their life and go out of poverty. One of Far's shows draws on the suffering under the Khmer Rouge. Pin Punam plays the lead in a tale about the school's founding by Cambodian survivors who had found comfort in the arts while living in refugee camps. There is also a mix of comedy and sharp skills. But Punam's days as a contortionist will soon end. She wants to dance and study arts and communications. Her big dream is to enter politics, though her friends say that's a crazy ambition. Because I want people to know that girl have a dream and she will go to her dream. Even if it's hard, but keep hope. Until then, she'll keep performing with her talented colleagues, combining their skills with just enough near misses to keep audiences on their toes. Robert Carmichael for VOA News, Phnom Penh.